Hello everyone! So I haven't done a musical discussion video in quite a while, and I'm really, really excited about this one, and this one's actually very, very important to do this week, and I will get into why later towards the end of this video. But today I'm going to be discussing one of my favorite musicals of all time, Repo the Genetic Opera. This film originated as a short film done by Darren Lynn Bowsman and Terence the Kuchnit, I can't pronounce his name, no, Dun Dunik, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the last name, sorry, but uh, Darren did the directing and he co-did the music and the writing with Terrence, who, Terrence also played the grave robber in this film, and we all know how many people love him, right, oh my god. So anyway, this film is a rock opera, I guess you could say, probably. Well, that's probably what it's called, yeah. It's very, very gothic and very dark, which I love. I love that this has aspects of horror into it. Uh, the, the actual atmosphere is just so dark and just makes you feel like you're in this world. Uh, it basically takes place in this post-apocalyptic world where uh, organs have failed all over the world. I'm guessing it's not really explained exactly where it's... T where the uh, organs have failed, but basically Junko comes out um, out of the ground, which is a company that is basically a loaning bank of organs and body parts, and they loan you organs and body parts to save your life, because you need them, because your organs are failing, so yeah. But there's a problem with this. Uh, people don't pay back their debts, and instead of, you know, just making them have to pay more, um, they uh, actually send out the Repo Man. This guy right here, which is explained by this song. And best you be punctual when making your payments. Lest it be you on the concrete below. If you couldn't tell, I love the soundtrack of this musical, and I have it, like, up here, embedded, embedded in my brain for eternity, because it is just so amazing. So yes, there's a Repo Man that basically goes out and uh, gets back the organs from people, so he basically kills them, I guess, it makes sense, because if you're gonna get your heart back from somebody, yeah, they're dead, obviously. Then you're introduced later on to the main character, who is Shiloh, and she is right there, you probably can't see her very well, but she is played by Alexa Vega, who is, like, so nostalgic for me, because I love Spy Kids, so when I found out she was in this musical, I, like, flipped out, and that was, like, one of the only reasons I wanted to watch this. But then, I actually watched it, and the whole cast is absolutely amazing. The only, like, like weak part of the cast that I'm going to judge right now, I mean, I thought it was, it worked, and they were minor characters, but I didn't really like, um, Rati's kids, really, at all. Paris Hilton plays Rati's daughter, and yeah, she's, she can't sing and horse shit. And then there's Ogre and, uh, Bill Mosley, who... Eh, I just, eh, eh. They were creepy, and they were good actors, like, they, they portrayed their roles well, but I just, their singing, mm, mm, no, no, thank you. However, the strong parts of the cast, I loved Anthony Stewart Head as uh, Shiloh's father, and I also love Sarah Brightman, and then there's, um, what's his name, Paul Servino, who's amazing, amazing, I love him, he has just this awesome, really deep opera voice. He He's really one of the few people besides Sarah Brightman that really fits the mood and the opera feel of the, mu of the musical. And then, of course, there's Terrence as the Grave Robber, who I just sang a little bit from. And I'm not as sexy as Terrence, but he is very, very good as the Grave Robber, and everyone loves him who loves this musical, basically. However, my favorite character and favorite actor in this is Anthony Stewart Head. I love him. He is just, he really, really shines in this role. And he is just brilliant. I love him. And he's also in Merlin, which is just amazing. And I will talk about Merlin on my main channel. I just, I have so much to say about Merlin. I love that show. So, anyway, that's kind of a tangent, but I love him. I just, I love this musical. It is just brilliant, amazing, and I so underrated. It is so, so underrated. Um, so, pick it up if you haven't even heard of it yet. Please pick it up and watch it. It's really, really good. It's also on Netflix, um, instantly. So, check it out. It is so, so good. And so underrated. And I know a lot of people hate this musical. But there's a group of people out there who I'm part of. Underground fans. Yeah. Let's unite. And okay, now we're going to get into the news part of this video. Because I am so excited about this. 
So some of you might have heard, who are fans of this musical, that there is a new musical coming out from Darren and Terrence. Yes. And guess what? I get to see it on Thursday. What is air? Oh my god, I am so excited, and even better, even freaking better. My friend got me these tickets, they're like, they're, they're different levels of tickets you can get. There's like, just the tickets, you can get the ticket and a poster, or the ticket, a poster, and you get to meet Terrence and Darren. And guess which one I get to do? Oh my god, I am so excited, oh my god. So basically, what I've heard from my friend who bought the tickets, he got an email, and it says that we're supposed to meet at the theater uh, an hour early. So I don't know what we're doing, it doesn't explain it, but it just says to come an hour early if you have this set of tickets, the higher set. And I'm excited, I don't know what to expect, I'm, I, I'm kind of freaked out because I'm not sure what we're going to do, I'm not sure if it's like a before party with Terrence and Darren, or if it's like something we have to do, or like I don't know what's, what's going to happen, and oh my gosh, I'm just excited and freaked out, and oh my god. So expect a video on the Devil's Carnival probably next week. I'll probably discuss it next week. I don't think I'll film anything because I don't think you can film anything at these kind of events, but I will talk about it definitely, and um, I'm just so freaking excited. Anyway, back to Repo. Please, please check out this film. It is so, so brilliant. I love it so much, and it's so underrated, and I love the songs to death. Oh my god. Ah. So I hope you all enjoyed this musical discussion, and also I will be filming my Mama Rants video soon this week, so stay tuned for that. It's coming. Just give me some time. I need to prepare for it. I need to prepare my voice and my, my, my rantiness. So just, just wait. It'll be up. It'll be up, I swear. Anyway, guys, I hope you check out this musical on Netflix or buy it on DVD. It's so cheap. It's like nine bucks on Amazon. Go get it. It's so amazing. I love it so much. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go and go eat dinner. So, yeah, I love you guys. Bye.